Hi guys, Kevin Mano out here on the balcony at My FM with Haley Steinfeld. Hello. She's an actor, a singer, a model. She does it all, and she's here. Thank you so much for being of course, here. Of course, thank You're the best. you. I haven't seen you in a while. The last time we saw you, you were nice enough uh, to let us, the morning show at My FM, do the stage intro for you out at the Village at the iHeart yes. Festival in Vegas. Oh my! Yeah, that was a while ago. It was just about well, about a year ago. That's so crazy. Yeah. I have the worst sense of time. So whenever anybody says that, I'm like, it's been so long. Well, we were talking out there right before you went out, but you and you were being very nice and everything, but you were in the zone. What's yes. your like your pre-show routine? You seem like maybe you were going over choreography or something. You're yeah, stretching. so I, I, I tend to re have to remind myself of like a few things. Sometimes I'll, it, depending on, on where I am, what the performance is, what the set is, uh, it, it always varies. And I, I love to keep it new and fresh and change things around. And then uh, I realize that I don't necessarily love that when I don't remember it. Um, and I'm out there and I'm like seconds away from going on stage and I'm like, what was that one part? And I'm going over to my head, I testing vocals, making sure everything is good in my yeah. ears. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know. It's just a few minutes before I get in the zone. Do you get stressed? Or is it is it like a good adrenaline high? What oh, is it's, it? it's 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 both actually. It depends. Again, that was crazy. It was so brutally hot out that yeah. you're like, well, how do I? What do I do? Um, I don't, I don't really, I don't know that I get stressed so much as excited and, sure. and anxious, and and the adrenaline kicks in and that just overrides everything. Yeah. Um, how was Coachella? Coachella was fun. I had a great time. I went to a few parties with some friends, which was awesome. I uh, spent some time at the festival, and it was great that the dust really got to me. I like, sure totally came here. down came after back the weekend. Sick. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was pretty rough, but amazing. It's so awesome to go to a place where you just can go from one artist, one genre of music to another, and, and just live. Who it's was your great. favorite that you saw? Uh, I saw... DJ Snake's uh, set was pretty awesome. Cool. It was so much fun. I caught a little bit of Lady Gaga, which was, yeah. I mean, duh. <laughs> uh, Did and you happen to see Boney Vare? Everyone was raving about. I, from afar. Okay. I mean, I, I I paid attention. I wasn't right up in there, but yeah, it was. They they're great. Yeah. 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 And how much? This is going to sound like a silly question, but how much? Like, do you put into your outfits for Coachella? Because fashion is a big part of it nowadays. It really and is. I saw your thing with the boots and everything. Ah, uh, thanks. And, wow. Yeah, you know, it's I funny. It. I, um, you know, you want to, you want to, it's Coachella and it's yeah. fun. That's like a, uh, an added. You know added, it's going to be talked about, whatever totally, you wear. Totally, right. And it's funny because part of me was like, all right, I'm going to totally get into this. And then again, time got away from me and I was there and I'm like, all I have are shorts and, and a t-shirt let me cut it make it look cool and i'll put a bandana around my face and it'll work so i really kind of just threw it together last minute you look great thank you um and a new song most girls it's out yes it's out congratulations thank you work thank with you. ryan tedder on the song i did had you worked with him on stuff in the past no so i only recently met him uh in new york backstage at jimmy fallon uh the day the golden globe nominations were announced and so we were kind of bonding over that and that was really awesome and then um yeah, we had this very brief conversation of how we should collaborate and work on something together. And being in a room with that guy, he's he's a genius, and I've I've picked up on so much from him already. So wow. working with him on this song was was a blast, and and he killed it. So do you bring him the song, and then he kind of like dissects it? How does that work? So I felt uh, that most girls needed a little something, something, a little uh, Ryan Tedder okay. production. Uh, so I brought this song to him, and uh, I, I basically just said, you know, this is this is a song that's really important to me. You know, first, what do you yeah. think? And two, would you are you interested in, in doing something? And, and he loved it and, again, killed the production. I was going to say he has the Midas touch, but so do you. So, yeah. I, I mean, the two of you together, that's crazy. That's awesome. And the song, it's a, a positive song, right? Sort it of is. about female empowerment. Yes. Kind of. Is that what you, how you would describe it? Yeah, I, I like to think of this song as a real sort of progressive way of, of thinking. Um, I, I think I, I mean, I, I find and I feel like, I feel like maybe you can agree with me or, or other women can agree with me that there almost feels like there's been this sort of like golden rule that, that in order to be different or in order to be special, you have to be so different from other women as, as, a, as a woman, as a young girl. Okay. And, and it's crazy to think about it that way. And I, and I had this thought that whether it's a guy saying, man, I really like you, you're so awesome, you're not like most girls, that triggers the thought of like, well, wait, most girls are 
actually amazing and who wouldn't want to be oh. like most girls and and that was the thought and i really do feel like with everything going on in the world right now with women we're really it, it, we're banding together and we're we're facing the world as as one yes. and and that's what this song is i might take you up on that offer to babysit my daughter hey i'm down you <laughs> my let little me daughter's know inside and Haley wanted to babysitter <laughs> um, sort of on that note about you know young women i guess have you watched 13 reasons why I have not. We just I finished it. My wife and I just finished you? it last night. Oh yeah. my God! No, I, I, I need to make a point to, to watch it. I've heard great things. Yeah, it's just it's a, it's powerful, yeah. you know. And I feel like a lot of people coming up in this generation need to watch the show. Yeah. And I remember, I mean, I've read before that you back in school got bullied. Yeah. Right. I did. I did. And it's funny because I remember when I I was a couple years younger, somebody asked me what my experience was in school, and and that became the topic of conversation and I remember afterwards feeling like I hope no one felt that I talked about it as if I was the only one in the world that oh, ever got yeah, bullied no. and and I realize obviously now more than ever now especially more than I did when I was going through it that it happens to everybody no matter who you are where you're from where you go to school how old you're like it, it, it happens at work at school and jobs whatever um, and it's something that all of us have to deal with and and it's, it's just a real sort of challenge in life that we all go through. Yeah. Well, thank you for putting out such a positive message. I feel like the world needs more of thank that. Um, a couple of things to congratulate you on. Ed Sheeran covering you is pretty awesome. I mean, like, <laughs> and then wrote me a, a, like an apology for like messing up because oh, he didn't God. have time to rehearse. And I was like, all right, Ed. All right. Where were you when you, when it, you know, you got the notification on your phone or whatever and you oh, saw it, you watched it for the first time? I, I, I don't remember where I was, but I was with a bunch of people and yeah. I saw it on my phone and I immediately went to my laptop to pull it up on a bigger screen. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a... So amazing. I'm such a huge fan of him as an artist and he's one of my, one of my dear friends and, and such a great person. And when I saw that, I was like, I mean, wow. I love awesome. that. I yeah. love that. Um, and then you're uh, nominated for an MTV... I think it's the Movie and TV Awards yes, this year. They've rebranded. Yes. So Best Actor. Yeah. You're up against uh, Hugh Jackman. I mean, you know, <laughs> I I, uh, I don't know. I think I can take him. This is the first time you've been up against Hugh Jackman? This is something? the first time wow. I've been up against Hugh Jackman. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to prepare a speech just in case? No, I feel like I've already won. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's Hugh Jackman. You know. I mean. Um, so, yeah, congratulations Thank for that. You. Your, uh, your 21st birthday is coming up. Wow, I know. Do you... Can you plan that far out? It's in December. Do you have it anything? It is in December. I have some time, so at least I get to think but about it. it's a it. big one, 21. It's a big one. Yeah, I have no idea where I'll be or what I'll be doing, yeah. um, but obviously we'll take some time to celebrate, and uh, yeah, yikes. It's hard for you to think that far yeah. out. I know, I understand. There, You have a, a lot going on. Are you ready for it? I mean, the new song, you know, you're playing a bunch of shows this summer. It's sort of you're jumping back into the grind here. Totally, like. totally. Well, it, it feels so good. I was away for a couple months making Pitch Perfect 3, and... and yeah. That was amazing, and I had the best time. And towards the end, I really started feeling like I gotta get back on stage. I've gotta get back home and and get back in the grind. So I'm 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 really pumped to be to be back. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you get this question all the time, but which do you prefer doing? Honestly, it's crazy because I'm constantly reminded of how fortunate I am that I get to do both, yeah. and I don't see myself doing one and not the and and not the other. Um, with a movie like Pitch Perfect, though, you get to do both, which yeah. is always a always a dream case scenario. Um, so yeah, I don't know. When you're doing music, you kind of miss acting, yeah. and when you're acting, you kind of miss the stage exactly. and stuff. I get that. Congratulations on everything. We Thank love the you. song around here. Thank you so much for giving us uh, some time today. Of course. Haley Seinfeld here at My FM. Woo.